all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brittany coming at you fast with part two of me being fucking savage, dude. I swear, I'm just a loose cannon at this point. It's crazy. We got some more Severa gameplay, though, because I, I played him a couple times lately, and I really like him. Uh, and uh, I was still getting used to him in this game, so that's why I have so many goddamn deaths looking like a goddamn scrub. But at the end of the day, we still end up winning because it's all about the team plays and the wins and all that good stuff. KD doesn't matter when you've got a lot of wins, am I right? Of course I'm right. But anyway, I wanted to make this part two video, and I actually was going to make it nonetheless anyway because I feel like a lot of people... Anytime that I make a certain exposition or statement of my opinion about the game, I tend to blame the people playing it more so than the people developing it, and that's not true <laughs> at all, okay? Like, I talk a lot of shit to Paragon as well. If you guys know me on Twitter, I tweet a lot at them when it comes to concerns I have with their game and everything, and I don't let up. And even if I was sponsored by Paragon or endorsed by Epic Games or whatever, I would still point out the criticism or point out the flaws in their game with my criticism, rather. That's the proper way to say it. You know, because I care about this game and I want it to do well, and that's why I'm trying to use the platform and voice that I have to be able to communicate to as many people and as large of an audience as possible. And a lot of people think that I'm just rambling on when really <laughs> I've been with this game for such a long time and I don't love every single thing about it, but yeah, I kind of like it, you know? I'm still with it and I believe in Epic Games and what they're trying to do and their vision and I think they can make a really fun end game out of it just like how Legacy was at a time until V27. I really didn't like V27, that update, that really grinded my gears and I let Epic Games know about it. But having that said, having that said, that I do like the game and that I don't think that Monolith was a bad thing and keeping that all in mind, I do still want to point out some stuff that I'm just like, really? Really Epic Games? Really? You're going to do that? Why not do this instead kind of thing? So... For those of you who felt kind of like I was being really one-sided with my other video, I was because that was directed to one specific audience. And then I decided to dodge in without my ult. I was trying to swing her out of the tower range, but it didn't matter because we killed her anyway. Um, you think that was one-sided? It was, but now here's the other side to the story. So hopefully not too many people will have their panties in a bunch like that. Because, like, <laughs> goddamn, dude. I always get a lot of dislikes, and I know I get a lot of dislikes when I drop, like, really controversial videos. But those are honestly the most fun videos to make. As I soul siphon the shit. There's a three S's right there. Out of that or Prime. I love it. I love doing that. I think it should give you, like, full health back if you manage to do that or something. Something like a little Easter egg. But anyway. Let's talk to you now, Paragon developers. Let's talk to you now, Epic Games, and see what I think, in my opinion... You guys should be and should not be doing. Alright, this is what I think that would be the best. This is my opinion, okay? I'm not silencing anybody else's opinions. I'm not trying to, you know, say, you know, tell people what to and what to not think because that's their own fucking opinion. Again, that's, that's what they're allowed to do, alright? And before anyone calls me a, a hypocrite for being like, oh, but people need to stop complaining, like I said in my last video. There's a difference between constructive criticism and just repetitive fucking complaining. Because with uh, constructive criticism, you're at least trying to end with a positive goal, okay? You're not just, you know, throwing it over and over and over again. You could repetitively complain about something that's actually beneficial for a lot of people. And it would end up being destructive instead of constructive. I feel like a lot of people are missing that point. But it's okay. It's okay. We have we have some of those people in this world, okay? We call them dipshits. But anyway, back to the video. So, what can Epic Games do? What could they do to make it better? First off, I've been saying this a buttload. And I know everyone else has been saying this a buttload. But I want to say it one more time, just for good measure, that KL, dude... Uh, you, you've done a lot of cool stuff with this game, man. I'll give you that. Alright, but... You saying that towers are in a good spot... Is absolutely fucking preposterous. Okay? And your 
argument for that it's good because it shortens game time is total bullshit. Because towers are not the only thing that influence game time duration, as you very well know. You're a very smart man, you wear glasses, and you must understand. And anybody else, it's not just KL, I don't mean to single you out. Anyone else working on the development team, bring it back to how it was in Legacy. That was fucking perfect. I don't understand why you even brought it back. And I'm going to give you a few fucking examples, okay? Saying that towers... For the biggest reasons that games are long? No, the reason games go on to be sometimes hour long, hour 15 minutes even long, is because people don't know how to end the game. They don't know how to group up together after getting two kills and siege an inhibitor and go for core. They think you need to destroy all three inhibitors before siege and core. And while that might be easier and less risky, if you're smarter and more experienced, you understand that, hey, you only need one inhibitor, and sometimes you don't even need super minions to go and siege cores. You just need a good team fight and solid grouping. All right, actual games on average last around 30 to 35 minutes when you have decent team comp and communication. They last that long when it comes to public matches. And that makes sense because in public matches, which is another big problem right now in this game, there's a lot of different kinds of people, okay? There's really competitive people, and then there are people who just play for fun. And I'm going to make an entire video on this topic just on its own. But for now, I'm just going to breeze over it and say that there's a bunch of different kind of people. There's your filthy fucking casuals, and there's your sweaty try-hard ranked gods, okay? You have a bunch of different kind of people. And in solo queue, you're going to find a lot of different kinds of people that may know a lot of crazy strats that actually go into tournaments with their teams and stuff, but they just decided to play solo queue. For example, I'm Sko, the potato farmer, loves to do it, okay? He loves to play solo queue all the time, but we all know that he's really good with his team. Obviously, one of the best players in the world, okay? There's a big difference between the people who play that, and communication may not be the best thing, obviously, especially without in-game voice comms, which I'm actually okay with. I like that. That would get annoying if this was like Call of Duty and you had a lot of 12-year-olds just yelling at each other and doing crazy shit like that. So, anyway, the point being is, yeah, it's going to take a long time. Whereas in ranked mode, I'm assuming in ranked, it's going to be quicker. When an actual ranked mode comes out, it's going to be quicker. You can't base the game's longevity off of casual play. Okay, casual play is casual play. It can be whatever the fuck. You have people fucking around. You have people trolling. You have people picking Iggy. Okay, you have people picking Kalari to go fucking mid or something stupid. Like, you have people doing a bunch of random stuff because they're not... Their mindset isn't in the competitive kind of mindset, okay? It's not there. They're not trying real, 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 real hard to do that stuff, all right? Like, they don't give a shit. And your audience epic is, is not the right audience, in my opinion. I don't think you should be looking at that type of, of play as an indicator of what and how your patches should look. Every normal fucking MOBA has stacking tower damage. Stack the tower damage on heroes. They don't have to be on minions, okay? They could just be on the heroes. Actually, I think the way towers are right now when it comes to minions are great, all right? They don't have to be so fucking crazy all the goddamn time, all right? They just have to work and block the fucking attackers from actually sieging the tower, all right? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why that is not a thing, like, at all. It makes no sense whatsoever. So that's one thing. Second thing, I know you guys are in the process of it, and you're going to balance all the heroes. And as a temporary fix, maybe bring health up a little bit. Because Paragon right now is a story of temporary fixes. That is just how the story goes right now. Temporary fixes all up the wazoo. All right, like, that's just how it's been, and that's how it's going to keep going until the full game is released. So if you can't scale all of the heroes right away, which I totally understand, at least go ahead and try and fix health temporarily, all right? And third, please, please, please keep listening to the community. I really like that, and I really appreciate it. Except I don't fucking understand what this whole banner thing is. I really don't. Why the fuck do we even have banners? I, I'm, I'm kind of confused. I feel like that's just going to add more strain on the screen and do for more lag spikes and more pixel and frame drops. And I really hope that's not the case because PS4, at least, already gets a lot of frame drops as it is every time a new update comes out. So I would really prefer, Epic, that you guys prioritize gameplay at its core first and then go on to, you know, go on with these aesthetics, especially before the game is even made. Like, I just don't understand. Hopefully it's not thing too crazy, but... Stick with the changes that help the game more, you know, and that's all I ask, and keep listening to the community, because, hey, you guys are pretty good at that, alright, I'll give you that, but, still, get your head out of your ass, KL, seriously, man, 
towers need to be fucking buffed. I don't care what you think. Everyone else says so. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you don't fucking hate me. Hopefully you aren't going to cause a riot and go storm Epic Games. That would have been funny if we were talking about League of Legends because they have Riot Games. And that would have been a great fucking pun to make. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day. Peace.